Hi Yogi, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Practicing With Me. Today I'll be guiding you through a short video of how to enter the wheel pose of Vodhanarasana with ease, some simple warm-up techniques and prep to enter the posture efficiently. When you're ready, please have your mat ready and prepared, rolled out, and join me in a tabletop position on your palms, on your knees, ready for some cat-cow. Inhale, lift the tailbone, open through the chest, try to draw the shoulders back as you exhale, really rounding the upper spine. Inhale, lift the tailbone, open the chest, exhale, really round in the upper back, press the mat away from you. Inhale, full breath in, exhale, full breath out. Inhale, a little faster, exhale. Inhale, exhale, release all of the air. Inhale, full breath in, exhale, full breath out. Now just start to find some movement through the body, maybe a figure of eight with the hips, with the shoulders, moving through the center. Just find some movement to release whatever feels good to you. Don't have to be perfect with it, just move the body. Stretch the palms forward lowering the chest down into your puppy pose. If you struggle to get the chest all the way down, please have a slight bend in the elbows. If not, stretch the palms all the way forward and just take some full breaths in here as you exhale, lowering and melting the chest down. Really here, just trying to find that opening through the chest and through the shoulders. Come onto the forearms, lower the stomach down. Legs, heels and toes together. Sphinx pose. Elbows 90 degree angle. Spread out the fingertips. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, press the palms down. Lock the elbows. Lift the chest. Lower back down. Take a breath in. Exhale, straighten those arms. Lower the elbows. Deep breath in. Exhale, straighten those arms. Lowering the elbows all the way down. This time, forehead down, palms underneath the shoulders. Cobra pose, inhale, lift the head, the chest, press the palms softly. Take your time, rolling yourself, forehead comes down last. Inhale, exhale, lift the head, the chest, press the palms, open through the chest. Heels and toes together if you can. Slowly rolling yourself down, forehead down. This time, fingertips if you can. As you lift, go a little bit deeper with it. Try to look up, open through the throat and the chest and then slowly take your time releasing the pose. Press the palms down, bring the seat back towards the heels, open the knees wide, stretch the palms out in front of you, child pose. Just find that release, the stretch through the back, through the side body. Melting the chest down. And slowly start to release. Lean to one side. Bring the legs out in front of you and lie down on your back. Keeping the knees bent. Bridge rolls. Palms by the side. Lift the hips up. Press the soles of the feet down. Squeeze in through the back body. Slowly take your time. Lowering your seat all the way down. Again, lift all the way up. Really squeeze in, find that strength through the back body. Slowly now, lower all the way back down. One more time. Inhale, lift all the way up. This time, if you can go deeper with it, walk the shoulder blades in. Perhaps you interlock the fingers, pressing the palms down to the mat. Maybe you just keep the arms by the side, but really try to find the opening through the front side of your body and that strength through the back. Slowly now, lower down, bring the knees in towards the chest. Just press the, arm, the arms around the tops of the knees. And again, lower the feet down, this time. Palms come by the ears, fingertips towards the shoulders. 
lift up through the hips first, press the palms, come onto the top of the head. This is stage one for the bridge. I'll call this the baby wheel pose. To release, draw the chin back towards the chest, lower down, release the arms, hook the knees in. And again, bring the feet down, knees bent, our palms by the ears, fingertips in, lift through the hips, press down through the palms, lifting the head, coming onto the top of the head. Keep it here if this is enough for you. Maybe you walk the fingertips slightly in and then if you can, press all the way up into a wheel pose. Start to rock the body forwards and back, bending the knees, trying to get the shoulders in line with the wrists. Look down in between the palms. Again, use that strength through the back. Maybe you can go deeper walking the toes in, coming onto the tiptoes. Really trying to find that opening through the front side of your body. Keep that strength through the arms to really safely start to draw the chin towards the chest, lower down, hugging the knees in. Keeping the back flat to the mat. Now after every deep back bend, it's really important to twist. Bring the left palm on the outside of the right knee, slowly lower the knees towards the left side, opening your right palm out towards the sky. Just take a few full deep breaths here, finding that release through the spine, through the twist. Open through the chest, draw the navel in and allow the knees to be heavy towards that left side. Slowly now, Hug both knees back in towards the chest and repeat, lowering the knees towards the right side, opening that left arm out towards the left side. Again, breathe fully, breathe deeply. Allow yourself that release through the twist. Hug both knees back in towards the chest. And then just start to circulate the knees. Maybe you rock side to side, just finding that release through the lower back. Remember if you're doing circles with the knees to change the direction. Hug both knees in, start to rock on the spine, forwards and back, eventually ending in a cross leg seated position. Let the palms just rest beneath you. Take a moment of stillness. Thank you very much for joining in with this practice today. Namaste.